welcome back to horrors to the horrors of Nigel Mansell's world championship uh, if I sound a little bit like I have a flu well I kind of do because I got infected with the coronavirus a couple of weeks ago I'm still recovering a little bit so <clears throat> I might be coughing a little bit and, and stuff like that but uh, I, it, it should be fine uh, yeah the real season is over and Friedrich Bang has to provide uh, F1 fix for Hatcher. Indeed, he will have to have to do that. Uh, yes, we're going to get back to Grand Prix 3 pretty soon. Uh, so that should be fun. I'm looking forward for Spa. It'll be uh, very terrifying but very exciting at the same time. I, I, I do love that, uh, that track. Covid mid. Get well soon, thank you. Uh, me and my wife, we, we well, the, the virus went through our entire family, me, my wife and our daughter. We, me and my wife, we have uh, vaccinations, but still uh, it didn't really, well, it, it helped, I suppose. We didn't get the serious version of the disease, but it was still very annoying, as a man flu uh, always is. Let's do this, Mansell. Enter. <coughs> hmm. Cool deep voice though, thank you. Uh, cancel. The glorious music. Yeah, there was a Formula One race yesterday, I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I've got nothing to say about that. Uh, you know, everything has been said that needs to be said <coughs> about that. The only thing I want to say, if you follow Formula 1 and you're looking looking at it the way that it's, it's a legitimate sport where there are regulations and rules that are consistent and equal to all the drivers and the teams, then you're going to be very sad at some point. Sad and disappointed. Uh, so I, I would like think about Formula One more as uh, a, like entertainment with some sports-like features that will that will at least keep me mentally sane somewhat. There are our preferences, and we will continue. Yeah, Max one. Uh, I think he is a very well deserved uh, deserved the championship, but obviously making up rules uh, like they did in the final laps, it's a little bit weird. But as I said, I'm not going to go into that. You can go into Twitter and or Reddit to to discuss about that. Let us... Well, you can discuss it in the chat. Nothing against that. But we, as Nigel Mansell, are headed to Germany. We, were, we will tune the car. I think hard tires. Ah, uh, come on. Oh man, the UI is horrible. Shallow. Wangs, high gear ratio, so everything different than previously, because we're going to go 400 kilometers an hour, and we'll jump straight into the into the race. I'm not going to bother to do any any qualifying. Let's race. <laughs> All right, let's get. Let, let's let's do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, the horror! <laughs> this is—it's so bad. Okay, the car accelerates very slowly because we have very very high gearing, and let's start moving. Towards the front. 
300 kilometers an hour. That's the first position. Oops. I don't want to hit anyone though. Okay. Oh, I just said I, w I don't want to hit anyone. Damn it. Very arcadey. Really? You think? <laughs> oh god, this... I mean, once we'll get rid of the AI cars, I don't know if we even need to turn for any of these corners. Okay, let's see which way are you going to go. That way, I see. There we go. Yoink! Yoink! Ah! Uh, almost hit him. Oh, the the steering is so bad. Go 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 go! Another position. Another position. We're sixth already. Another position. Another position. P4. Get out of my way, thank you. Oh, go, 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 go. And into the lead. And 400 kilometers an hour, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear, that was bad. I think I should have picked the the soft tires, because I remember when I <coughs> did this track in the in the 90s when I actually played this game for some reason. I think you were able to do an entire lap of Hockenheim with the average speed of 400 kilometers an hour without slowing for any of the corners. Okay, we're in the lead, time to relax. I have a bucket, by the way. Here's, here's a bucket. Uh, actually, in, in the previous race, I uh, I did two and a half hours of this, the, the first half of the se season. Oops, that was almost like a mistake. Uh, and when I stopped playing, I noticed that uh, I don't feel very good. <laughs> so I felt very nauseated after that. I didn't I didn't throw up or anything, but. It was it was really bad. Luckily, we don't have that many races left anymore. I think it's like five races left to be sick in the yeah. Well, that's that's what the bucket's for. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get sick. Oh, we made the corner. Cool. There we go, 400 kilometers an hour. Hope you guys are <laughs> enjoying this stream. <laughs> oh man, this is so bad. Let's see if we can deal with this hairpin. Well, we kind of needed... We needed to, unfortunately, slow down all the way down to 300 kilometers per hour into the hairpin. No, I didn't didn't actually see see roads when I closed my eyes, but I, I, I really felt pretty nauseated. I uh, well I I didn't even try to close my eyes though. I just decided that I can't sleep for for a while. Ah, uh, this is this is fun. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry. Corona coughing.
la 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 Oh, we hit the bloody cannon billboard. Well, we ha we kind of have a healthy lead. We are one and a half minutes ahead of everybody else. In the previous stream, somebody asked if the if the steering is actually analog, and it's not. As you can see, I'm. Uh, it, it depends on more like how long you have the wheel tilted than what you're actually. Uh, the the rotation of the wheel, so. It's kind of digital. The the pedals, I think, are analog, so you can actually lift the throttle a little bit. So that actually helps a little bit with the AI cars. <laughs> so once again, the funny thing is that we are two minutes ahead of everybody else. <coughs> However, we haven't lapped anyone. And the lap is less than two minutes long, so obviously the timing is all wrong, as is everything else. Hello, format man. Ciao. Vroom. <laughs> this is the least exciting thing, oops, that a person can do. Well, I do, actually I know one thing that's less exciting than driving this game. It's watching someone else driving this game. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Get alive! Ouch. <coughs> Taka Harvey, yet you're here for some reason. Oh, this guy is going to unlap himself. Where are the Lotus games by Gremlin? Burning his own viewers. Yes, everybody is like, unsubscribe this idiot. <coughs> yeah, half the time I'm not even watching this. This. Well, at least in Hockenheim I don't need to. As you can see, it's just sometimes you can turn the car a little bit, but other than that you can just go straight and... and What's the chat? Oops! Oh dear! I should have turned for that one. <coughs> Is it like Hungaroring next?
Oh, you can, like, cut the corner. Well, that's the first time that's happened. Ouch. Oh, we have a, have some tire damage now. Better, better start paying a little bit of attention. <coughs> I don't remember a lot of Gremlin games. I, I'm pretty sure I've played some of them in the 90s, but... This is the only one that I actually remember. Oh, come on, you idiot. <laughs> Hi, Moises. Uh, Grand Prix Legends Hardcore Season. Maybe, maybe someday. Uh, I'm not ready for that currently, and I don't have time for it. I wanna deal with mostly the, the Jeff Grammon games first. But maybe maybe I'll try it, try it someday. But it's very difficult. Uh, in the meantime, you can check out Robbie Sim Racer. He's doing a hardcore season in in Grand Prix Legends, and he he's a lot better driver than I am. Unfortunately, he just broke his arm some time ago, so he's currently una uh, unable to to race. Yeah, it's Grand Prix 4 after Grand Prix 3, and then uh, at some point some Grand Prix 2 action. But uh, al also there's IndyCar Racing 2, but uh, I so far I, I failed to get excited of that game. The, the, it bothers me how the cars drive, especially on non-oval circuits. But, you know, I'll, I'll complete, uh, complete that season as well. Also, uh, I am going to do Grand Prix to 2000, but that's not at the top of the list because I, I prefer Grand Prix 2 and Grand Prix 4. We are currently three and a half minutes ahead of the car on P2, but we haven't even lap lapped him, so that's kind of weird. Now I'll do a Grand Prix tr uh, 4 with, with, with a single monitor setup, so just because it's more uh, convenient for streaming. If I'd have a three monitor setup, first of all, it would be difficult to stream so that you you would get anything out of it, and then I couldn't keep the chat visible and, and stuff like that. So, ouch! Oh, this is the final lap of the race. Can we actually lap the entire field? I don't know. The Car on P2 is kind of far away. <coughs> Yoink. I think we're going to lap the entire field. Yoink! Moises, I, 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 for me, it's... Oops. The 
guy on P2 is going to unlap himself. Well, that's all right. Doesn't really matter. Uh, the most fun I've had with uh, is, is Grand Prix 2 because the races are just so eventful and full of everything. It's it's uh, it's an amazing game. Grand Prix 3, Grand Prix 4, they are definitely more realistic, but at the same time, the fu fun factor is is not quite as high. Nigel Mazzles with Akuri Suzuki with his footwork, second, Alessi Eric van der Poel, Brundle and Burger. <coughs> Hooray! Another win. And we have a very, very healthy lead with six wins. And we're headed to Hungary next. Uh, it's saying 22% chance of rain. Let's tune the car. Soft tires. Acute wangs. Low gearing. And we're ready to race once again. Eric Katayama, the famous Eric Katayama, takes the pole position. Sensational. And here we go. It's probably going to rain at some point. Should be a tighter track than than Hockenheim, obviously. <coughs> oh, he's blocking. Well, not intentionally. He's just veering from left to right, right completely randomly, as they do. Ouch. <coughs> okay. Come on, pick a lane, dude. Ah. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, I barely made the corner. Yoink. Yoink. <laughs> this commentary is fantastic. Yoink! Go, 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 go! Yoink! And... Ouch. Oh, that, that's too bad. And it started raining. You want me to tune up the game volume? <laughs> it's, it's it's so bad. Like it's 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 very bad. Almost had to stop for that one. There's no grip because it's raining and we're running on dry tires. Completely dynamic weather indeed. Well, at least this track is way more challenging than Hockenheim. If I remember correct, correctly, wasn't it a uh, Hungaro ring where Man Mansell actually secured his championship 
in real life. I don't know, we might be able to do that if we win today. I don't remember how many races there are left after this. But yeah, this is a very fast layout of Hungaro Ring. <laughs> Mostly 350 kilometers an hour, except there you apparently should slow down a little bit. Yeah, so coronavirus was interesting. As I said, you, uh, you know, I've been vaccinated, so it was just normal flu. But the interesting thing about this is that I completely lost my sense of smell. So I couldn't smell anything. Now it's starting to recover a little bit, but it was very weird. Ouch. That's bad. Oh god, let this be over quickly. Why am I doing this? Should I go and pick the wet tires for the rest of the race? I should have a little bit more grip. It's not necessary because we're going to win this anyway, but just for fun. Ouch. Well, maybe... Maybe we indeed need a little bit more grip. I've heard some people, like... For some people it, it might take a year to get their sense of smell or sense of taste back. Luckily... It, it seems to be a recovering quicker for me. As you know, Christmas is coming and everything, so I want to taste all the treats. Ouch! God oh, damn it. I think we seriously need the wet tires. Might break the car otherwise. We'll go change the tires if I can make it into the pits. It's on the right side, right? Oh! Oh dear. I made it. Oh, come on, this is very slow. Wet tires. Thank you. Oops. That's not cool. We fell down the fort. But now we have amazing tires. Just a little bit more excitement for the race. Oh, don't you even think about it. Yeah, the grip is definitely better, so that's cool. There we 
go. in the lead. Two laps to go. And after that it's... No, this, this is not Friedrich Bang who... Oh, ouch. That's bad. This is not Friedrich Bang who's driving. It's Nigel Mansell. This is not part of the Friedrich Bang universe. Frederick Bang is a very, very serious racing driver with very serious hardcore stuff, with very serious hardcore racing sims. This is this is just a stupid little game I'm playing for memory's sake. There we go, back in the leads. And good news everybody, my head is finally starting to hurt a little bit. With any luck I'll get some sort of a setback with my coronavirus situation because of this game. virus might get some power and strength from this. <coughs> Would be fun to try out Grand Prix circuits. I never owned that game, but oh man, come on. I played that uh, with a friend of mine, he, he had it for I think Amiga 500. Or was it Commander? I'm not quite sure. What was the top end PC back when this was released? We had a 386. I think it was a 16 megahertz computer. It ran this game pretty much the same way as my current computer does, but with Formula One Grand Prix, I have to settle with uh, settle with the, the lower frame rate, like fi 15 frames per second or something. Oh, uh, that was me watching the chat. <coughs> yeah, where was there like sound card sounds? Hooray! By the way, we win. Hi, Jake. Welcome to the horrors of Nigel Mansell's World Championship. Uh, Eric Katayama seconds. The crash is third. Brandelberger Modena. Alessi doesn't get any points. Hooray! 79 points. Can someone please do the math? Are we world champions already? 
we had a 16 MHz 386. There were different versions of it. They were more powerful and less powerful 386s out there. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we already secured the championship. I don't care. We're headed to Spa next. Oh, the magical Air Rouge. It will be awesome. Let's check out the car. I think we'll just use the same setup. Except that we're going to choose the soft tires. I'm not sure how many races there are left. Five races left, so I don't think we're quite champions yet. Let's race. Oh, the oh, Air Rouge, Redillon, it'll be ma marvelous and, and wonderful. Here we go. Okay, so that was La Source. Now we're headed to Air Rouge. Uh, Ouch. So, guessing this. Uh, um, so that, that, that was Air Rouge, right? <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> why, why am I doing this? And what the hell was that corner? There was a corner in the middle of Campbell Straits. <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah. I think this track is mildly inaccurate. Oh, come on! This is a very, very long corner, sweeping corner. That's very spa-like. I've been doing a lot of practice in Grand Prix 3 in, in spa lately, so I remember the layout very well. <laughs> There we go. Okay, he's rearing that way. Oh, there was a corner, damn it. Oh, God. <laughs> Turned the wrong way, but that's alright. Oh, and suddenly we're in the lead. That's cool. Here we are, Blanchimon. And next up, the bus stop chicane. I'm guessing you don't need to turn for bus stop. No. That, that was the bus stop, right? And here's the sh very, very tight hairpin of La Source. <laughs> 352 kilometers an hour. I'm sure you could na navigate that 400 kilometers an hour if you set up the car that way. Air Rouge and Redillon. There we go. Oh, what a glorious, glorious corner. Oh boy, that, that's a rush. Oh yeah, that's right, and there was a corner in the middle of Gamel Straits. There we go. I'm sorry everybody that you have to watch this, but it has to be done. It's one of those things that has to be done.
It was a very, very long corner. I don't remember any anymore. What what was the, the point of Adlib? Was it like just like a better version of the PC beeper or, or what? Was it a, like a legitimate sound card with some real sounds? Ouch. Michael says this is more interesting than a well-built game, trying to guess which direction next turn will go. That's indeed kind of funny. <laughs> Even more funny is that you don't really need to turn for all the corners. Like, I think we can go for the rest of the, this lap without touching the wheel. We'll see if I'm wrong. Doesn't seem that I'm wrong. There goes the bus stop, and yeah, no need to turn. Do we need to turn for Lazarus? Just no, no, we don't. Very cool. Okay, mostly used for more music, not for sounds. No, no, you have to present like it's the hardest thing of all time. Well, uh, I'm doing... Uh, yeah, uh, a very poor job then. <laughs> I'm using the force. <coughs> oh, actually you have to turn for this one. Ah, the understeer. There we go. <coughs> Harder than Richard Burns rally. By the way, Jake, thanks a lot for the Richard Burns rally video. I haven't kept up with the newest developments on Richard Burns Rally, but it's very interesting to see how there's nowadays a one-click solution for installing all the important mods and, and the stages and stuff, and I'll definitely take a look, a look on that once I'll have time. I was supposed to do a hardcore season in Richard Burns Rally uh, with the, the um, just with the stock version of the game, but I haven't had time for that. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just purely online stuff. I don't mind online, but I'm not going to stream online racing, probably. <coughs> A good thing about this game is that I, I can get, I, I get to look at the chat and, and talk to you guys. Once we'll do Grand Prix 3, Especially in Spa, the next race, I will have to be very quiet, because that race <coughs> will be pretty freaking nerve-wracking. I mean, I said it before, but Grand Prix 3 and Spa Francochard, it's a match made in heaven. It's, it's just, I feel that version of the track, it suits the 19... 98 cars brilliantly. There are a lot of corners where you can go almost flat out. And you can go flat out if you get the line right, but if you just make a, the slightest mistake, then everything's ru ruined. And I've had a lot of fun practicing 
practicing for that, but I'll have to do some more practicing in case there's, there's wet weather, because that's very much a possibility in, in Spa. Oh dear. Forgot to turn. <coughs> I'm not feeling nauseated anymore, which uh, uh, yet I mean, which is which is good. Yeah, Air Rouge I feel is is very much correct in Grand Prix Three. It's it's a real joy to drive. <coughs> uh, been having a lot of problems actually in Air Rouge. Where the car bottoms out, the suspension bottoms out, and then then the car becomes very very lively, and uh, I need to figure out something to to solve that. Uh, the other option is that get rid of the packers when, and and then the car won't bottom out. The suspension won't bottom out, but the car will bottom out, and and then there's blank wear, so it's it's very difficult. This is a very, very long race, and it's g getting longer every time I crash. <coughs> I don't know why Air Rouge was so weird in Grand Prix 2. I know that that year they, they had a uh, chicane in Air Rouge because of all the accidents. So I don't know if, if the game tried to model that somehow. It was weird. I think I'm going to go to the pits because we have some damage and I don't want to risk. Can't you race the car itself? Y yeah, you can, but the the forces in Air Rouge are so strong that it will bottom out either way. You have to make the suspension a lot tougher and I don't like hard suspension we'll go to the pits just for the heck of it <coughs> and soft tires thank you Some press rubber. <coughs> GP laps, uh, you should watch my first, I think, three races. I did terribly. I, I thought that I won't, like, win the championship because I set up the car wrong. I had too little downforce and I, I couldn't keep it on the track. I think fro out of first three races I, I got like four points or something. I'm n I don't remember correctly, but they went very poorly. A little bit more downforce and a shorter gear ratios because every time you crash you stop and the car accelerates like a million times faster if you choose the short gear ratios. <coughs> this is the hardest difficulty by the way. <laughs> Man, this is a long race. Oh, come on. I turned the wrong way accidentally. I have mustache, but you know, I have a kind of a beard. Nothing like 
GP laps beard. I, I feel that kind of beard will mess up with your aerodynamics by a little bit shorter. God, I'm so bored. Why on earth are you guys watching this? <laughs> There's 20 people wasting their lives. No hands through air rouge. Two and a half, uh, one and a half laps left. It's taking forever. Well, at least you know you have to give them the, the fact that they made Spa longer than the other tracks. So I guess that's kind of some sort of commitments. Yeah, Frank Williams unfortunately passed away. Maybe the toughest team boss ever. And it's by the way 1992 version. 1991 was not that good for Williams. I don't think they had the active suspension in 1991. But they definitely had a car that was capable of winning the championship, but uh, I, I think Mansell had a pretty poor season that, that year. He made some mistakes and then there were some gearbox failures. And at least the one uh, I think in, in Montreal was caused by Nigel himself. And yes, Enna was at, at his best, definitely, that year. Okay, finally, final lap. comes to the color scheme, I, my favorite Williams was always the... Well, with this, this color scheme, with, with the cannon and the, the camel stuff. I remember when they changed their libraries for the 1994 season, and I was devastated. I was like, well, that's not a Williams. Oh yeah, the 1991 Jordan was absolutely beautiful. That was really one of the most beautiful cars in Formula 1 in my opinion.
I don't remember when the Canon library was introduced, introduced by it ended after the 1993 season. And hooray, we won. <coughs> there we go. What happened to Eric Katayama? Wasn't he on pole? And another win, hooray. And we, I think we, are, we have secured the championship now. Because, like, there's four races left. I think. We're headed to Italy. Uh, let's tune the car. There's a big chance of rain. We're going to go with the soft tires. We'll, we'll choose them. Medium gearbox and medium wangs. I don't know if that's good, but I don't care. Here's the grids. Oh, and it's raining already. I thought it was just about to rain. The, the mountains of Monza. Yoink, yoink, yoink! Oh dear, we hit the... Trackside objects. <coughs> okay, into Curva Grande. Uh, which is apparently just two very small corners. Ah, oh, almost hit him. And... Lesmo number one, apparently. Lesmo number two. Ouch! This race is not going well. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit, so I think I try to be a little bit more quiet. Still haven't completely recovered from my lovely little corona infection. There we go. Come on, pick a lane, dude. Almost crashed. going to hit him. Ah. <clears throat> oh, come on. And there we go, P2. P2. 
sure we'll get, get the lead. Lead back. There we go. Time to relax a little bit. It's going to be twice as fast than uh, Spa, which is good. No one wants to see any more of this game that is completely necessary. And this is all very, very, very necessary. <coughs> 376 kilometers an hour. I have actually set up the car quite conservatively for, for this track. As we saw in Hockenheim, it's completely possible to go 400 kilometers an hour. Will you have another se another season of that, this? No, never, absolutely never. Maybe in like 30 years, I might change my mind and revisit this again for memory's sake. But after this, never in 30 years. I don't think you need to turn for the first chicane. F1 beyond the limit. That's that's a new one for me. I don't I don't remember if I've heard of that. Well, I have to give the you know that downhill is at the right place. So that's something. lap some cars. Hooray! Oh, the excitement. Ouch. That was very, very frustrating. Ouch! Come on! Blue flags! I think I have to check the F1 beyond the limit thing. Sounds intriguing. Ah, uh, two more laps to go. Oh dear. Almost crashed.
I think this this track is probably one of the most accurate tracks on on the on the calendar uh, when it comes to the track layout. But I don't remember seeing uh, Alps in in Monza. Final level of the race. Nigel Mansell completely dominating with his very, very overpowered Williams. Ouch. Interesting how ouch. They decided a good track site object for this game would be hay bales. I mean <coughs> you know <coughs> it was nineteen ninety two. I don't think there were a lot of hay bales on the track site anymore. Yeah, the whoosh shown under the banner banners. That, that's truly a great victory for the design team of this this game. Ah, uh, Nigel Mansell wins once again. All this information is very uninteresting. Hooray! Ninety nine points. It's Portugal. Next. Oops, I accidentally went into the qualifying. I'm not going to qualify. But I forgot to set up the car, though. Well, now we have... I think we have Monza set up for this track now. Which might be a little bit difficult. Seems that the, the setup is working alright. Or not. <coughs> but the Sega version was a lot better. Even the Amiga version, well, it, it looks pretty much the same, except that there are, like, way better sounds in that one. very weird how in the PC version they have sounds where you are running on low revs then you change the gear up and then you're running on high revs suddenly it's a very interesting way to make the sounds Ouch, that hurts. Ouch, oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe we're not going to win this one. That should 
be interesting. And the problem is that I'm I'm running on on a lower downforce and longer gearing, which doesn't suit this track as well as it did Monza, but we'll see. Ouch! That was annoying. Oh, there's no grip. Okay, there we go. These tight corners are very difficult with this. Yeah, luckily there's no similar snap oversteer in the chicane as there was in <laughs> Grand Prix 2. That was that was a heartbreaking race. I, I remember that race very vividly. Oh come on! Takes forever to get back to speed. Oh man! It's not going very well. GP Labs asked, asked some time ago if it's, if it's possible to lose in this game. You might see an example of that in this race. Or not. We're fifth, but the leaders are quite far away. So if if I can keep the car on the track, it's it's very fast. Ah, uh, because on on straight line because of the low downforce. So I have actually almost almost got the the top two already. Thank you for the faith. Ouch again. The same corner gets me every time. We'll have some some damage to the car pretty soon if, if we d don't stop doing that. Oh, come on, stop squeezing me! Oh dear, now we have damage. I wonder if we should pit to fix the car and, and maybe get some new tires. Pin. Let's take it easy. Let's try not to crash this lap.
Oh, man. That sucked. <coughs> I'm sorry I'm coughing constantly, but... I'm not completely healthy at the moment. Oh, God. <laughs> this is very frustrating. Okay, here's the chicane I always crash at. This time I made it. Oh, I didn't make that corner, though. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're not going to win this race, it seems. Very tragical. Let's see if we can get a podium at least. Tragical, that's not a word. Tragic, I mean. There we go, P3. P2. Maybe we can win afterwards. Uh, after all. Easy with the hairpins. Oh, it had to hit. I don't have any creep anymore because I, I, we have some wheel damage to the car. Okay, easy. Oh no! <laughs> this is horrible. Everybody, this is horrible. There's still two laps left. I, I wonder if we can even keep the car intact. If we can't make the corners anymore. The most exciting race ever! Well, I think the Mexican Grand Prix at the beginning of this season was way more exciting because that one I won on the final corner. So well, that was cool. Let's see if we can keep it on the track this time. Okay, hairpin coming. This doesn't turn. We're quite close on the leader. Let's break early for this. We made the hairpin! Hooray! And we're in the lead! Easy, easy, don't crash! Whatever you do, don't crash. Alright, we actually made it through, the, through a lap without crashing, so... And we'll just have to do it again, and we'll win. Yoink!
Okay, let's try to pull a cap pick for the difficult part of the track. Final lap. We're pulling a cute cap. Easy, what's the hay bales? This actually resembles a race a little bit. Which was fun. Yeah, in o only in the serious simulators you steer on a straight line and not in the corners. Oh, we made it. Beautiful. Nigel Basil is going to win. Ouch. Again. Alright, another win. A little crash at the end, but that's alright. We have a big enough cap. Hooray for Nigel. So what there's like Suzuka and Adelaide left now. So two more races of this horror. That's... that's too much. Hooray! It was Suzuki with his footwork, our, our main rival in this race. Alright. And we have a secure championship. Let's actually tune the car this time. Soft tires. Acute wangs. Low gearing. And we're headed to Glorious Suzuka. Oh, I didn't look at the weather forecast, but apparently it might rain. Thankfully no cooled heart around this time. Ah, oh, sad it. Oh, there was no rain in the forecast. That's cool. Suzuka is clearly very difficult in this game. That's a, a lo lot of corners. If there are a lot of corners, the tracks are more difficult. Ah, there we go. Under the bridge. There was actually a bridge. Very cool. There we go, and we're not in the lead. We're P on, on P2, but now we're in the lead. That was quick. Into the spoon. Interesting version of Spoon. Uh, 
and now it's time to relax. Let's turn a little bit just for fun. Uh, interesting. There, there was like in the intersection there was a t tunnel in, in both ways. That's that's interesting. One seems to be a long race, almost a three minute lap. That one. Ouch. Stupid hay bales. Wonder if. You can go straight through, through the chicanes without turning. I don't think you can. Ouch. Yeah. I should take this more seriously, apparently. Fifteen kilometer long Suzuka. Thanks for the math, Lanson tickets. The measurements in this game they are not quite accurate. In the hairpin. No need to slow for the hairpin. Two very, very shallow corners. I mean, my head really hurts now, and my eyes hurt as well. Why would any reasonable person do anything like this to himself? I don't know. So ho hopefully you guys are having short sort of fun. I promise that we're never ever going to do anything like this again. This, this is just something I had to get out of my system. This, it's my first racing game that I ever owned. And uh, I, I wanted to play it for some reason, and now I will never want to play it again after doing an entire season. Ouch! Oh man, it's such a long race. If you choose the easiest difficulty, you only get three laps, and maybe I should have done it like that. But it's my obsession of doing things as, as hardcore as possible. In many ways this is more hardcore than my real hardcore races.
go. I'm sure Super Monaco Grand Prix is a lot better than this this game. I've never played it myself, but I have watched some footage on, on YouTube and most certainly looks to be a very decent arcade game. But I'm, I think I'm going back to the basics on this channel. The, the backbone of this channel is, is the hardcore races in, in Grand Prix, in the, in the Grand Prix series. And also some, some Papyrus stuff in the mix, so I will go back to that. Uh, next up it's it's going to be Grand Prix 3 at Spa and uh, I don't know if I can do it this week, but I'm hoping to do it next week before Christmas. Ouch! Again! I think it's the same hay bale, once again. Oh god, there are still three laps to go. <laughs> That's such long, long laps. Because they're filled with boringness. Imperator Thomas, what do you think of F1 Challenge? Uh, well... Uh, I would love it because you know the physics are great I know it's it's the predecessor of R factor and everything but the problem is the AI and you know the way I am I like to do hardcore races long full distance races if you drive F1 challenge and go to Monaco then you're, you're going to be the only car that finishes the race so it kind of ruins the fun for me I'm sorry to say, but that's why I I am not planning to to do any F1 challenge stuff on on this channel. Hakkinen or Raikkonen? Hakkinen. He was he was my biggest idol in in the in the 90s, and you know I like Raikkonen as well. He's got a very very unique personality and everything, but I've never been a fan like I was a Hakkinen fan, and I've never been a fan of any other driver than Hakkinen. I was really, in, in the 90s, I followed very closely his entire form, Formula 1 car, uh, career, and, and it was unbelievably emotional when he, he started winning races and started winning titles. And I, I will never get that feeling again. I think the thing that bothered me with Kimi is is uh, that he was, you know, he wasn't totally committed to Formula One. I ha I think he had more talent to do even better than what he did. But you know, that's his personality and. You can't really change who you are, but I kind of... It, it was a little bit disappointing for me. You could still do a review videos of other games, you don't have to do a full season. Yeah, this, this I mean, this is just... Uh, a thing of stupidity that we're doing here and I'm definitely not going to do any any full season of, of, of arcade games and stuff like that. I, I might do some reviews at some point but next up I, I do want to get back to the original content that people enjoy most which are the hardcore hardcore races and, and most importantly the, that's the kind of content I enjoy most because those races are, are very exciting. You, you never know what's going to happen. No matter, matter how much I practice, I, it's, you know, it's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. Come on. 
on, get out of my way! Ah! Ouch. Oh man, there's still two laps left after this. I could just retire and still win the title. But let's suffer the entire thing properly. Oh, he... He did that then. There we go, that's a pass. Of a lap to car. No, I'm not going to retire. In fact, I think we might do another season after this. <laughs> oh dear, the hay bale. It's the same hay bale again. <laughs> A full race distance. Someone should mod this game so you could do like 70 lap laps of this. I would definitely need this. Fuck it. Sorry, I think I just hit the microphone with my puke bucket. If we're not careful, we might actually retire this race because we have some damage already. Ouch. We have... two squares of tire damage now. That's dangerous. And when you get those pink boxes, if you get three of them, I think, then the car breaks. But even with two of them, you, you lose a lot of grip, so now the car really doesn't turn very well anymore. I don't know why Nigel gave his name for this game. He probably didn't care. <laughs> ah. ah! This game is deep. The only way, way to wear your tires is, is to get damaged, they don't wear by driving. There's a video of Nigel Mansell playing this game. I haven't seen that and I will have to see that. <laughs> Was he playing it with a joystick or a keyboard or with the Nigel Mansell freewheel? If you don't know what that thing is, you, you should Google it. There's some footage on YouTube. It's basically... Well, it's, it's not a wheel, per se. I 
it's it's this you know it, it's got motion sensors so it's just like you you keep the it's not attached to anything the Nigel Mansell's free will it's it's in your hands and it's got mo motion sensors sensors and and then you steer the car with that I remember when when I bought this game back in the 90s there was in the manual they said that you should it's recommend re recommended to play this game with the Nigel Mansell's free wheel And that thing is honestly hilarious. <coughs> My car is very badly damaged, but this is the final lap, so if we just keep it on the track, we'll, we, we should be fine. Oh dear. Well, apparently that was not a problem. <coughs> there we go. Okay, final lap. Finally. This race is over. One more race left and then we can forget that all this ever happens. Through the chicane. Let's actually turn a little bit just for fun. And another... Another marvelous win for Nigel Mansell. There we go. Burger Alessi Koma Suzuki and Brandle top 6. Yeah, I, I think it, it was said in and the Super Monaco Grand Prix that it was developed under surveillance of Ayrton Senna. Final race of the season. Let's do the car. Soft, acute, and low. Alright. Finally. Let's get this over with. Here we go. A good old Adelaide. Time to make up some positions. B8. Into the hairpin. Oh dear. Very, very tight corners. Yoink!
Ah! Well, what the hell was that corner? Oh, go, go, go! Oh, that hurts. Come on, Nigel, one more win. Ah! Damn, hail, hey, Bale. Yoink. Everybody's very slow on straight line. B3. P2 A melting popsicle <laughs> A nice observation There we go, P1 Come on, Nigel Thank God this will be over sh soon. Ouch, that hurts. We got some tire damage again. Tire damage for Nigel in Melbourne. Sounds familiar. Ring a bell. No, Adelaide. Adelaide. I said Adelaide. You misheard. My brain is, is kind of malfunction, malfunctioning. Mel, mel, malfunction. Functioning. <laughs> uh, even more than usual. I blame the corona. It went into my brain and destroyed my other brain cell. Hey! Ah, oh, come on! I always straighten up the car because I forget that there's a corner there. It doesn't really show it on the on the track map, but there is a corner. A corner. Three more laps to go. And we can put all this behind us. Ouch. 
That hurt, but I don't care anymore. I'm just very tired, and my head hurts, and my eyes hurt. Oops. Ha! <laughs> I turned the wrong way. Ouch. No, Pelimies, this is not good medicine for sleep, because now if you close your eyes, you will see this blinking thing. <laughs> Yeah, I think the first stream took about four, uh, two and a half hours, and this will be two hours, so about four and a half hours of, of gameplay with the hardest difficulty, with the longest possible races, ouch. Except that I haven't done any of the qualifying, that would make it a lot longer. Quite a bit of damage again. We are under a risk of breaking the car, so at least there's something interesting in this race. Let's turn. Oh, again the same place. Oh man, that was that was bad. Okay, let's try to bring her home. I could bid for repairs, but I won't. Because we can use all the possible excitement that we can get out of this game. And finally, we're getting there. It's it's almost over. The horrors are almost over. Let's not crash here again. Just play it safe. We made it. We made it. Final corners. There we go, final corner. We cross the line, another win for Nigel Vassal, and I'm sure we'll get some sort of a celebration for our championship. Yes. Mantle will win Suzuki with his footwork second, Alessi Martini Modena Herbert. Yay! And hooray for Nigel. And Nigel Mansell takes the win. Uh, the, the title. G 
John Alessi seconds. Burger third. Suzuki, Martini, Herbert, Morena. This is sorry, it's Martin, Mark Brando. Eric, Katayama, Koma, and Van de Poel. Thanks everybody for sticking around. Alright. Uh, yay. There we go. And that, those were the championship uh, celebrations. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, th this sucked. This game sucked, these streams sucked, they were very boring, I had a horrible time, now I have a headache, and an eye ache. Uh, <coughs> so thanks for, for sticking around anyways. Next up it's, it's going to be, I don't have any champagne, I'm so sorry. We'll see you in, in Grand Prix 3. I will now go and uninstall this game from my PC. Also, I'm very tired, I could really use some sleep. But anyway, th thanks a lot for guys for sticking around. A real, really, really committed stuff from you guys to, to watch this kind of fo footage on YouTube. Just pure craziness, pure madness. Bye, Hasso, Basso, bye, Frederico. Lunch on ticket to the row. G four one two B B Hatcher Pelimius. Everybody, Hatcher, of course. Michael, take care, you guys. Stay safe. Have a good night's sleep. We will, we will see you in in a real race. That will be very excited. I'm very excited of, about the Belgian Grand Prix. Anything can happen in that one. But hopefully this week, if not this week, then hopefully next week. See you. Bye bye.